Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, if you clicked on this video, it's probably because you want to see some um, fishing and exploration of Rockport and Port Aransas and some of the Gulf and some of the jetties and all that good stuff. And I promise you, uh, we'll get there in, in just a couple of minutes. What I thought it made sense to do quickly before we did that was to introduce myself, let you know a little bit about me and, and about what this channel is and, and what we're trying to do here. If you want to skip that, I understand, and you want to get straight to the fishing stuff, um, I'll put a little marker down here at the bottom of the video, time marker, I guess, uh, to tell you where to skip straight to to get started on the Haney. But in the meantime, my name is Matt. You'll hear me refer to myself as, as Captain Matt since I'm the one captaining the Haney on this particular trip. Amazing, amazing machine, by the way. It's unbelievable. You may see a couple of comments in there about that, but um, basically I started coming down here to the Rockport area um, five or six years ago and just was amazed by how incredible this place is and all the things that there are to do. And we've made so many amazing memories with family and some of my best friends since that we ultimately bought a place and we bought a place in Key Allegro um, and it's just a dream come true for us now like a lot of people we we make that house available for other people to rent when we're not using it and I think that's really cool it's a lot of houses available in, in Key Allegro to rent like that and if you get a chance you really should come down here I don't care where you stay um, especially if you haven't been before it'll blow you away it really is it really is that awesome but we thought one thing that we could do since we took so many years to kind of figure out where to go fishing, what to do, what the best restaurants were, all that kind of stuff. In addition to making the house available like on Airbnb and, and VRBO is to kind of be guides for y'all. And one of the coolest ways to do that was to create a YouTube channel, create some content about the house. We're about to do a video walk through the house and put it on VRBO and, and the YouTube channel, but also things to do, you know, fishing in the canals, swimming in the canals, favorite restaurants, and obviously, fishing out uh, in the bays and in the flats, which is my personal favorite thing. So um, anyway, that's, that's essentially what this channel is. We're gonna start posting more content. Hopefully you guys like it. Um, hopefully it's something that's a valuable resource for y'all to maximize your time down here and your enjoyment of this place. And hopefully you decide to come stay with us. If you do, um, you know, we view the people that have already stayed with us and the people that are going to stay with us soon and, and anybody who wants to in the future as guests. And we really want to help y'all as I said before, maximize your enjoyment down here. It really is. When I first came to Texas, you'll hear me say this later, but I just had no idea there was this kind of amazing place here. Um, and there is though, and it's just, it's unbelievable. But we'll talk more about that later. So I do have some resources if y'all wanna check out more about us. Um, you, you saw them at the beginning of the video. We have a website. The house is called A Real Blessing. It's about us and about the house. We've got our YouTube channel and I'm gonna post that again here uh, in just a second so y'all can see that and then obviously we've got our listing on VRBO but if you want to reach out direct or to me directly to talk about the house or any questions about fishing sort of what else we can offer you in terms of connecting and information and all that stuff you can talk to me directly I'll put, I'll put a, a link to the website address right here and reach out to me so anyway um, let's get to some fishing hey guys um, so this is a picture at the outset of sort of the ground that we covered um, on this particular trip, you see up here where it says 42 nautical miles. It was actually probably closer to 50 because there's some areas in here that um, I didn't actually connect um, on the places we went just because I, I forgot about them. But anyway, uh, I'm trying to rush through this as quickly as possible because this, uh, this video is getting so long that nobody's going to watch the dang thing if I don't speed it up a little. So anyway, quick overview, rough overview, orientation, if you will, of where we went so that you have a sense of, of what's going on. And this is a lot of area, obviously. You've got Key Allegra way up here. You've got the Port A jetties out here. You got Corpus Christi Bay down in this area over here. So real quick, um, started at Key Allegra. You'll see us coming out of the channel. You're gonna see us come down Aransas Bay and there's a really funny taco incident I think you might enjoy. At least I couldn't stop laughing. Through here to the intercoastal, this is our first fishing spot, okay? So to spot one, if you will, you're gonna see us do one of my favorite trout lines. You'll see a big mansion on the right, um, which is an indicator of where that, um, that particular trout line is. Then you're gonna see us move to spot number two, straight down the intercoastal. Coming in here, you'll see us outside this island. This is called South Bay, I believe. A bunch of different names for all these different places, but I think that's the, the common name for it. You're gonna see us pick up some reds here. Then you're gonna see us come under this 361 bridge. Got a Ranzas Pass here. Uh, that's spot number two. Once we finish up here, we head under the bridge. We come down to one of my favorite spots. 
come through here you'll see us post up on this island pick up another fish then we do a little bit of exploration here ultimately cross here i forgot about this part over to brown and root you'll see some really cool drone footage i think this is one of my favorite spots in terms of fishing the flats drifting the flats we stop about here so you'll see that next and you'll see us leave there come down through here down through here and there's a rig right here. You'll see us do some rig fishing. Went over to Poloni, but I don't have the video of that. And then you'll see us get up in the Lydian channel here. Um, <laughs> we'll put some light vests on and you'll see us go out and do some golf fishing. Then when we're done, you don't see this because again, no video footage, but we basically come up here to a place called Mud Island, drop some crab traps, do some fishing unsuccessfully, unfortunately. And then we head straight back to Key Allegro. So that's a lot of territory. Um, Hopefully that wasn't too quick and gives you some sense of where we were and some of the, the favorite spots I like to fish, but here we go. Wow, oh, man, it's amazing. Morning, everybody. Captain Matt back with you, and I got my brother-in-law, E.T. What's up, what's up? And the Tedio Tenorio, otherwise known as L. We're about to go catch some fish. I want y'all to see first just how beautiful this is. Just leaving Key Allegro Canal, the real blessing is right back there. I don't know if you can see with that sunshine in there, but it's amazing out here right now. My goodness. Woo! The only problem we got right now is no fish in the boat, but we just started, so it's all good. Golly day. And this is the channel. Look at that sunrise. Days like this, things can't be that bad, right? Looks like, a, looks like the Florida Keys right there, man. Those palm trees yeah. and the sunrise coming over. Hi, right, brother, you ready? Rock and roll. Rock will be good up there? Uh, I think so. Let's find out. professionals do it out here. You want to throw them in the cooler? Yeah. What is that? Yeah, it's like one of these little, uh, first fish of the day. It's not what we're looking for, but it's not bad. Stingray, see that big old stingray? bites at all, huh? Usually a great drift line. We usually drift that, that big mansion when the wind's coming straight like this. 
It's usually some good trout you can pick up right here. Ah, uh, they would if we were drifting them, yeah. The only reason I didn't put one out is because of all the grass. This is a perfect spot to drift, uh, to drift pinfish. What is it? Oh, grass. Yeah, we got his first grass fish. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a bigger than I thought. Dude. I thought it was smaller. All right, hold on, hold that bad boy up. It's on video. Got to take a picture. Talk. So the other boys will stop talking smack. <laughs> see a lot of little bait. Yeah, I see that. That's good, man. There we go, baby. She's a good one. Yeah, oh yeah. She's coming on this right side over here. Oh, dang, I don't know if she's a keeper. Nope. Gosh, she hit like a pit bull though. Oh, maybe, man, maybe. I just can't see. Oh, she is a keeper. Boom, oh, shout out, brother. That's how you do it. Hold on, let me release some more. Oh, she's going to be 19, maybe. <laughs> it's gonna be short. Yep, yeah, she's gonna be nineteen. Just under nineteen. Thank you, girl. That's what it's all about right there. Please tell me you're recording, GoPro. Good call, L. I was just about to blow out of there. Let's uh let's throw a few more spoons while we're stuck. And uh see if we can't pull something else right there. Make sure you send that picture to those boys. What a beautiful, beautiful day, man. It's just an amazingly beautiful day. All right, baby, two more before we move on. That's the thing, man. You get one and then you just like. Yeah, I know. It's like, they're here. I know, but you gotta be. <laughs> you gotta like work through that because they'll keep you in the same dang spot. It's like, well, you think about it logically, you just made all that commotion. Yeah. Blow up the, blow up the spot. The fish probably went somewhere else. <laughs> But mentally, I still can't help myself.
This is beautiful, dude. It's one of my favorite spots right here. More down there, but... You got a good look here? Well, more around that point. I feel really good about this. He's right, he's right through that spot here. Spot. I'm telling you, that's why, this is, that's why I love this area, because there's so many sand pockets. Money is what we want. We got to see some movement right here. Good girl. Yes, sir. Awesome. I see the timer. Awesome. Yes, hey baby. Starting to run, starting to go on the grass. Nineteen again. Son of a biscuit. See what I'm saying about how you can't see him? But man, they are there, dude. Oh yeah, girl. That might be there. Might be on twenty, baby. Come on. Woo! Nineteen, man. There you go, girl. Dude, that one hit pretty good. Too. In my drag, she kept going. Get in there with a spoon, man. I'm telling you. They just come out of nowhere. Make sure you send that to the boys. Done. All right, guys. A little recap for you. So we started uh, at eight o'clock this morning. It's about noon now. Good, having fun. Good. Heck yeah. Um, so we stopped at Estes, nothing there. And then we went over to um, South Bay, picked up a couple of reds, 18, 19 inches, and uh, went to Stebman, nothing. And then we stopped in Ransom area. So we're about to go to Brown Route. So we'll see what happens. <laughs>
A little bit of rig fishing, baby. Got ourselves some uh, shade. Hale's about to drop some pinfish down in the bottom of the rig and see what we can do. Here we go. Hold on. So the way to get these guys is right through the back of the anal pin. So you kind of come, come through right here. And there you go, man. Drop that sucker right down to the bottom, dude. He'll, he'll swim straight to the bottom. Make sure your drag's tight. <clears throat> Otherwise, they'll run straight to that rig and cut you all. Is he swimming to the bottom? You feel him? Nice. Let him go to the bottom. Take water. Still feeling? Yeah. Trying something new. When you need shade on a hot day in Rockport, rigs are the That's place it. to go, man. It's coming. Four dolphins coming. No, not the. Oh, dude, they're coming straight here. Hold on, hold on, buddy, dude. We got three dolphins. I got to record this. Dude, they're coming straight. Look behind you. Look behind you. Hold on. Watch, watch, watch. Right? You see where the red, yellow bobber is? Yep. Hold on. Ready? Watch this. Hold on. They're about to surface. Dude, if they're here, then we're toast. <laughs> I came here to run up, dude. It was amazing, man. There's three of them just going, phew, and now they're gone. They have to surface somewhere. Oh, there they are, right in front of L. Look at him holding that deep breath. Go, go, go. Tighten the drag, tighten the drag, tighten the drag. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. No, I think he's stuck. No, I think he's stuck, dude. You I sure? think he took me somewhere. Oh, he hooked you up on something? Oh, look at those dolphins, man. It's amazing. Yep, oh, yep. Just broke it off. My pole was doing this. Yeah, if something grabbed it, and they're going to take you straight to this. So that's why it was my fault, because you got to have your drag tight, especially on light tackle, dude. You want them to break off as opposed to letting them take line. Look at those dolphins just hanging out. Get further up. Wow, look at that, dude. I mean, I, I mean who, who would think of like Texas and think of a place like this, man?
I gotta stop cussing on the video. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is awesome. This is unbelievable. Now you gotta take a little cell phone video. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah now we got the. Holy smokes, dude. Holy smokes. Look at that, dude. Oh my goodness. We're in the Gulf. <laughs> Who's up in the Gulf? Hold on, here we go. Go, Captain Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. The Haney's out in the Gulf, baby. <laughs> Hey, did you, uh, did you check your life insurance when you came out here? <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know, your guess is as good as mine as to where to drop the stroker, but I promise you. Oh, Holy day. Oh my gosh, man. This is cool. Now, dude, look, we're just like, we're like up oh, and down, yeah. up and down like crazy. Look at that. Look at that thing rolling. Ooh. Did you want to just drop it? Like out the back? You gotta, in. you gotta find him first. You do that while I focus on the water. Alright. You fishing in the golf, L? Yeah. Yeah, brother. That's a good size swell. Thank God those things are eight seconds apart. <laughs> Makes you realize how small you are. We got five more minutes and then we gotta run to mud if we wanna fish there. Yeah, we gotta drop these off. We gotta do what? We gotta drop these off. Yeah, it won't take long. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so that's the end of the video. We, we basically went from the Gulf back inside um, the channel. We took the Lydian over to a place called Mud Island and uh, fishing was terrible, of course, but we did drop some crab traps and uh, the kids and a couple of my buddies and my wife came down the next day. And we had a really, really good time with that. So, um, yeah, there wasn't as many fish in this video as I was hoping there would be, but um, my hope is that it was more of an exploration slash orientation video for some of you guys who know about the area but haven't been out there haven't gotten the chance to you know to get on a boat and, and go around and check that area and that that's what we're really trying to do um i've looked at a lot of places on youtube um there's some stuff about the jetties and there's stuff about going out in the gulf but i haven't seen a whole lot about rockport and and port aransas um i guess aransas pass in between those areas and those fishing grounds i showed you to start so I think, I hope, uh, that we can actually make some cool content, get better at taking video and editing and, and just really bring y'all some really cool stuff about, about this area in particular. That's what I love about it so much. Um, again, came down five, six years ago. I had no idea how amazing all this stuff is. And I've been a lot of places, you know, I'm in the US, outside of the US for work and all that kind of thing. I'm not saying Rockport and Port A are the best places in the world by any stretch, but they're just awesome. Um, and they're just two, three hours away for most of us, you know, from central Texas. So hopefully again, um, you guys enjoyed it at least to some extent, take it easy on us. Again, it's our first time. We're just trying to figure all this stuff out. And if you are interested in coming down, you want a really cool place to stay in Key Allegro and you want to speak directly with us, get some fishing tips, places to go, our favorite restaurants, and just hang out in a beautiful place, you know, check out these links that I'm about to show you and, uh, we'll see you next time.